here's parts of the vending business that we never like to have. These are late night troubleshooting calls. I got, the, I got an email from my card reader saying there was a jam in column five. I get down here, every button's reading right now because I opened the door, but it was saying try another selection on everything that this machine has. Well, according to the system, there was a jam in column five. I hit this, it's not showing any errors because the jam is cleared. But I'll show you what my diagnostics are reading um, in this video, the alerts I'm getting on my phone. So I get down here, I, I open the door and it trips the door switch. When I go to reach in there, it hits homing and this finishes its cycle. So when it stops, it stops right about here when it jams. It homes, it gets back to normal, and everything's hunky-dory. But a couple hours goes by and it jams again. Like anytime somebody buys something, it jams. I've checked the motors. This is the third time since Friday, since I've been down here. Tonight is Sunday. I come down, I clear the jam. Come down, I clear the jam and test all the motors. I run three or four cans through them, no problems. Get home, a couple hours later, I get an email saying, hey, there's a jam. Jam problem's back. And when, it's, when this column jams, or whatever column jams, it makes all of these think it's sold out. So it puts the whole machine into, into chaos mode and shuts it down. I'm thinking that my board has failed or is in the process of failing. So I have ordered a new board, waiting for it to come in now. Once it does come in, I will get it installed get it set up and hopefully have this thing back up and running. Since I put this board in here, I have done just shy of 2,200 cans without incident on this machine since I converted it. This is an old Dixie Narco 368. It was originally a single price machine and I converted it to using the 501E control board and a custom wiring harness I built matched off of the 501E system. Here's hoping that with the new board, it'll work. It could just be a malfunctioning transistor on the board causing this whole issue, which I really hope it is because this is one of my best locations and I like to keep them happy and with soda. I'm going to do, I brought some spare motors with me and I'm going to put, swap out the motor in column number five. I'm going to swap this, swap this motor out to one of my spares and hopefully that will keep it working long enough until I get the new parts in. Give me just a moment, I'll get the motor swapped out. I just can't hold the camera and swap the motor at the same time because I have to disconnect power from the front of the machine. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, update. I pulled the motor off, determined that the pin that connects to the rotating assembly here on this particular motor does not match the spare I had on hand. So I'm going to have to hope it doesn't malfunction before the new board arrives. But after testing it, everything is smooth on it. It rotates smooth. It's not out of alignment. So 
So I don't know why it's acting the way it is. I think it's just a board malfunction. Um, I'm hoping to get the new board in as quickly as possible. The shipping says like the seventh. Hopefully it comes in sooner. It'll be nice. Um, stay tuned, I'll keep you updated on this progress. Um, here we go, the motor's back in. Reconnected. Got the lower connections back on as well. Let's do a couple of tests. Jam in column six. What's funny is column six is not jammed. See, now that's what's weird, is it's not jammed. It's not jammed. And it said there was a jam in column six. When it cleared the jam, let's see if it cleared. Yeah, the jam has cleared. Back to cycle like normal. But it jackpotted out five drinks. And it wasn't even jammed. I think there is a problem with the board. So gotta have gotta test it. I'm gonna have to get a new board waiting on it to come in. When it does, I will be posting a video of it. And we will know more. Let me put you up here and we'll test it. I'll test the columns. So here's column one. just fine. Here's column two. Works just fine. Column three, which is coke, works just fine. Dr. Pepper works just fine. Here's column five where all the jams occur. Works just fine. Closes out, finish its cycle. Here's column six that just jackpotted. Worked just fine. Here's column seven. Works just fine. Column eight. 
Oh, no, went to seven again. Now call eight. Cycles in. Just fine. They all cycle. They all run just fine. But I will bet anything in the next couple hours I'll get an email saying that this column is jammed again and it's not. And it'll say that everything is sold out, which as you can tell, none of it's sold out. So if anybody has any suggestions, I am more than happy to answer them, at, uh, get them. Please leave your comments down in the, in the comment section below. Send me a direct message on Extreme Bending's Discord. I will answer as quickly as I can. I've, like I said, I've got a board on order. Hopefully that fixes it because I think this is a board issue and not a motor issue because these motors have worked fine for me over the six years I've had this machine. Um, I've sold probably 15,000 cans out of this machine. The last 2,200 have been sold since I did this upgrade to the machine and rewired it. It has worked flawlessly. And then all of a sudden it's malfunctioning. Nothing's changed. Nobody's vandalized it. Nobody's touched it. They just buy sodas. If you have any suggestions, please, I'm more than happy to learn them. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.